a dictator and became an icon of democracy. She championed press freedom, liberated ABS-CBN, and restored it to its rightful owners. A leader who touched our hearts, at once fragile and invincible, she was the embodiment of the people power she inspired. Leading by example, she is the spirit of the Filipino to do good and to be good. Thank you, President Coy, for giving us hope and showing us the way. Cory Aquino. Cory Aquino's administration was plagued by many difficulties, including a faltering economy exacerbated by several coup attempts and what critics say was an ineffectual leadership. Still, Mrs. Aquino's term in office was marked by several successes, especially in efforts to rebuild economic institutions that were destroyed during the Marcos dictatorship. One of Mrs. Aquino's first official acts as president was the issuance of a presidential proclamation lifting the suspension of the writ of habeas corpus. This order revoked two previous proclamations, paving the way for the granting of amnesty to all political prisoners under the Marcos regime and their eventual release from detention. Later, a constitutional commission was appointed to draft a new charter providing for a presidential form of government with appropriate mechanisms for check and balance. The Aquino administration also demonstrated a willingness to address the country's peace concerns by initiating peace talks with the National Democratic Front and with the Moro National Liberation Front. The MNLF eventually reached an agreement with the Philippine government in 1996 giving autonomy to areas with Muslim majorities now known as the autonomous regions in Muslim Mindanao. We'll go back now to our